Picture this. Recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. And yes, I've been away. Sorry, guys. It's been so bloody hot. Um, I just the studio's been like an oven, as you can probably imagine. So um, to save on sort of you know PC lifespan and all that, I've had the uh, the office has been vacated uh, just to keep things a bit cooler. So just be aware if the weather goes spiky like that, then um, then I don't get to do as much as I would like uh, pretty much the same for everybody I suppose and I hope everybody is well and safe and and he said warm then <laughs> of course we're all warm that's kind of the point anyway I'm looking at a ZX Spectrum game today and it's a bit of a beauty from what I've seen I've not played it yet so this is a first impressions type review as we go pretty much the norm so Nice little intro to get us started, and just look at it, it's lovely. Uh, the ZX Spectrum seems to be quite a popular system with you guys, so that's nice. Yes, it's called Mars Mare Alienation. Great stuff. So we're going to have a look at the uh, configuration there. You can use keys, or you can use a joystick. I'm going to be using a Kempston, so there we go. Um, oh, so this is a little bit further intro, okay. So I guess that's me, and that's not me. So. I... Oh, we're in a tussle. Awesome. All right, we've beaten the snot out of him. Great stuff. So... All right, so we've got to find... Okay, so we've got to get to that to that gun. Um, looks like there's an impenetrable barrier there. So no, I haven't got any weapons at this point, so I'm guessing that we've just got to sort of jump our way across and figure out how to get to that gun. Uh, so far, uh, it's very nice-looking game, actually. Um, love the colours actually the, the colour scheme's nice I like the, the whites and the light blues and all that I think that just adds to it it's very very cool very nice indeed um, and the graphics on the actual characters and the aliens are cool as well in fact the, just, the game in general just looks amazing which is always a nice thing because you know the specy wasn't renowned for its amazing graphic capabilities but when people can actually figure this stuff out and give a Spectrum game the full works, it amazes, it amazes me, it amazes everybody else. So now I guess we can actually shoot some scum. Yes, alien scum. Um, the controls are very nice as well, actually. Uh, you do need to sort of have a combination of uh, the fire button and the A key I found for elevators here. Um, you can't just get on an elevator and push up and down, although I think you can... Once you've summoned the elevator, I think you can... Oh, I'm going to try and shoot him. Through the wall! Through that gap. Um, yeah. So, once you've summoned the elevator, then you can use your up and down to guide it. Now, you can see in the top right-hand corner, that is your ammunition levels. So, once you run out of ammo, that's it. You're going back to be running around. From what I can tell, though... There seems to be plenty of ammunition and, well, I think it's the health things that are going to be the, the, the issue here. Anyway, getting our way through the levels. I mean, look how lovely it is. That's just some sort of slime. Now, you can't go out through the airlocks apparently because, well, no spacesuit and we wouldn't like to get a... Oh, hang on. You can shoot those. Ah, okay, so what does that do? If we follow the green light... Oh, ah, I get it. Nice. So there, you can see some ammunition there in the top. Uh, we're going to collect that, and it replenishes, so that's nice. Uh, the aliens don't take much to kill, so that's always a, a nice thing as well. You see that I just pushed up on the stick. Um, so yeah, if you see those little things, you can you can kill them, and, and they will open up doors and stuff like that, which is quite cool because you just follow the uh, you just follow the the wires, as it were, and you'll see what they do. So we're going to save the game here. I mean, it's not so much a save game. I think it's more of a checkpoint. But it works, and it also, yes, it's replenished our health. Health is um, shown as the person's head in the top left-hand corner. And for those of you that remember Nightmare on... 
think it was on was it CITV or Children's BBC, one of the two. Where you had um, a guy in a helmet who couldn't see, and they had a, three friends called advisors, and they would help guide him through. Now, there was a life force meter that, that was basically the Dungeoneer's face, and um, as you went over time, bits of him disintegrated. It's kind of like that. I guess the other thing closest to it would be Batman the movie, where the where Batman's face generally turns into the Joker's face after taking damage. So, I like the fact they've done that. It's quite cool. Now, there's no lives as such. Um, I'm not sure, actually, what happens if you die. I don't know if you just continue where you left off or whether you have to start again. But we'll find out. Now, these two little checkpoints are quite, quite readily available, and that's quite nice, because when you activate one, it's a full health, which is great. Uh, the other nice thing about this is the music is very nice and the sound effects are cool as well. And when you get the combination of that, you're in for a good game. Now this actually is a good game. Uh, the level layout is very good and there's quite a lot to do in this. I can't get through there yet so we'll have to go find our way around. Um, yeah, so the hazards are, are quite nicely placed like these rockets firing up here, you don't want to get stuck in those. Um, but yeah, the aliens don't take much, and the other thing is they don't respawn. So once you've killed an alien, that's it. It disappears from the screen completely, and you don't have to worry about them again, which is always a nice thing. Oh, that didn't what just happened there. Okay, so, uh, oh, heat-seeking missiles, that's not fun. So we're going to try and kill that. There we go. Some things take more shots than others, but you get to know what takes what. Normally, aliens that have weapons take three shots. Aliens that don't take two shots. So you've got a nice little sort of come, you know, you've got a nice little mix up there of uh, of what to kill, when to kill, and when, and how much it's going to take ammunition wise to do so. Um, the, the great thing about this game I find is the exploration. I really like the fact that you can just go through the levels and investigate everything. And once you've got the, the threats out of the way, you can take your time. So you've got two aliens here. And when they do see you, they do open fire. They, they're very merciless. I'm nearly dead. So that brings us back up to full health. That was a uh, that was a health pill, should we say? Pill? Yeah, that'll do. Um, but yeah, the calling the elevator thing, it just gives it a bit more immersion. I, I really quite like the design of the game as well, which is always nice. Um, and imagine having this on a ZX Spectrum back in the day. I've been really chuffed with this. I think... I would have put this in the 4.99 to 9.99 range of game. I don't think this would have been a budget title, but you know, I think I would have been quite happy to have paid that for this because it is very, it's very good. And I, I suggest you go and download it and have a go yourself. Uh, I will provide the download link for you guys so you can go and check it out yourselves and give it a go. Uh, if it will work on a real spectrum or you can uh, use it via emulation, it is entirely up to you. So. Have a go and, you know, support the developers because these guys are knocking it out of the park at the moment to give us some new games in 2021 for a system that's over 35 years old is absolutely brilliant. And um, there's going to be lots more. You know, there's, it's not just the Spectrum. There's the Amiga. There's um, the Amstrad's got a couple I've got to look at as well. We've got a good plethora of games. Yes, I have said plethora. Uh, so yeah, so nearly dead. So these checkpoints come in handy, but you can only use them once. So use them sparingly. Those guns, actually, those bullets hurt. But you know, you'd expect that really, being bullets. Uh, yeah, some halfway <laughs> half health already. So I'm, yeah. But it's it's quite a user-friendly game. It's you know the difficulty level of it isn't isn't massively off. So you can pick this game up at any age. I would have thought. Um, but give it a go. It's a great little platformer adventure game, and it's yeah. It's it, it's very well put together. Very well put together. Oh, 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 I'm dead. Okay, so what happens now then? Oh, I just respawned from the last checkpoint. Ah, okay, so it's not lives based. It's based on your health and where you last checked in. So it's worth hitting those checkpoints early on. Just so you've got somewhere to respawn. So the enemies will respawn if you haven't killed them. But they will respawn if you haven't killed... If you'd killed them after the checkpoint, if that makes sense. So they'll be there. I wonder if I can get, I can get to kill, them, kill each other. Excellent. There we go. It's one down and one. Excellent. That's quite a nice little thing, actually. Uh, the fact you can get them to shoot each other, which is great because it means the collision detection has been tweaked to be able to 
for the aliens to, you know, to not miss each other. Because there's plenty of games where the enemies will just ignore each other's bullets, but not in this case. So you can actually use that to a strategic advantage, uh, particularly if you've run out of ammunition at any point. You can try and position yourself to actually get them to shoot each other. What a bloody good feature that is. Now, there's not many negatives I can say about this game, actually. I, d I just can't find fault in it. It's very, very fun, which to me is always a, a top uh, priority in a game because games are there to release stress and for us to enjoy them unless it's Resident Evil which case it's not we're, we're, that's there just to completely punish your senses um, but yeah this I would I would highly recommend downloading this game just to give it a once through even if you're not vaguely interested in platformers give this one a go it's like alien meets jetpack meets I don't know I don't know what a third one would be but give it a go it's absolutely brilliant and it's completely free so there you go you, I think you can name your own price so do that give the devs some love because if they can bash out another game like this then I'll be all for giving it a great review now I love the fact you can play this on a real spectrum I love the fact you can play this on emulation you've got the choice a lot of these things these days do come with both options which is great uh, if you haven't got a spectrum then download an emulator can I recommend you one? Spectaculator is a good one, and also Retro Virtual Machine, or the other way around, Virtual Retro Machine, I don't know. But you can also emulate Amstrad through that one, but there you go. I would recommend either of those to play any of the games that you can download. And if you have got a real Spectrum, then by all means, have a go on an actual Specky. Because you can't beat the real hardware, really, can you? But, you know... But I love the fact you've got to look where you're going with this. As in, like, you've got to find these um, things to destroy to be able to move on in the game. It's not just going to hold your hand. You've got to kind of be a bit aware of what's on the screen. Now, once you have got your spacesuit, I believe we can go out of the airlock. So let's try and find one before I uh, wrap up on the uh, talky bits and leave you with some actual gameplay unfiltered. And, uh, yeah, I think... Let's, let's see. So that's that's, and it's not always obvious, by the way, where these things of what what these destroyed uh, conduits do, or where they have actually removed something. So yes, but um, yeah, I'd probably say that's about it from me at the moment because well, you've seen the game, you've seen me play the game. Now it's time for you to either watch till the end and see where I go. Uh, or you can just go and download the game for yourselves. But please go and check out the score because it's going to be a good one. So thanks ever so much for tuning in. And uh, hello to all you new subscribers that have suddenly appeared out on the channel. It's great to have you here. I hope you're enjoying the content as there's plenty of it to backtrack through. Um, we, I'm, I'm just blown away. Thanks, guys. Your support is amazing. And uh, yeah, if you feel like you can support the channel even further, go and check out my Patreon and uh, see if there's any ways that you can help. There's the spacesuit. Ah, now, uh, uh, now we can get out of here. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now with a few more minutes. Hope you've enjoyed the review and the preview. Um, I, like I said, I, I will leave the link in the comments so uh, you can go and check it out yourselves. But then, until next time, guys, I will catch you again very soon, I promise, uh, with a brand new review. It'll either be an indie game or it'll be a, an established one. But either way, it's going to be a good one. I'm going to be working on the Dungeon of Drax intro soon, so you can guarantee that that is coming very soon. But until next time, my friends, you keep it retro, stay safe, and I will catch you next time. And as always, it's bye for now. Ta-da!
Incoming transmission.